in 1940, before the United States entered World War II, a young American lad in Connecticut graduated from high school and was awarded a scholarship to Yale University. He set aside his scholarship to Yale, rather came to Canada, joined our Air Force, won his pilot's wings, and was immediately transferred overseas to 412 Canadian Fighter Squadron flying Spitfire aircraft. In September 1941, he wrote a letter to his parents in Washington, and on the back of that letter, he hastily scribbled down the words of a 14-line sonnet that he had just written about the joy of flying. He named his sonnet High Flight, and that original handwritten copy of High Flight has been preserved and placed for posterity in the files of the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., where it rests to this very day. In December 1941, just a few days after the infamy of Pearl Harbor this young American, flying a Canadian Spitfire in the skies over Europe, lost his life. At the time of his untimely and tragic death, pilot officer John Gillespie McGee, Jr. was only 19 years of age. Listen now to McGee's poignant but uplifting words of his high flight, which today is dedicated to veterans wherever they may be. Oh, I have slipped the surly bonds of earth and danced the skies on laughter-silvered wings. Sunward I've climbed and joined the tumbling mirth of sun-split clouds, and done a hundred things you have not dreamed of, wheeled and soared and swung high in the sunlit silence. Hovering there, I've chased the shouting wind along and flung my eager craft through footless halls of air up, up, the long, delirious, burning blue, I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace, where never lark or even eagle flew. And while with silent lifting mind I've trod the high, untrespassed sanctity of space, put out my hand and touched the face of God, 